Did you know that your eyes are fully grown by the time you're 13? Wow, you'd better look after them then. Now, nothing beats a good party, but some people, when they're getting ready, can get a bit overexcited. People like Zant. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting in the mood, but if you're not careful, you might expose yourself to danger. <laughs> you could accidentally slip in the bathroom, burn yourself with straighteners, or even strain your voice practising karaoke. Zand, Zand, oh, oh, oh. you need to save your energy. You're not going to have any left for the party. Right, a few final checks for me. Collar straight, hair smart, and a final squirt of aftershave. Ah! Ah! Right into his own eye. Looks like an injury alert! So, what should you do if you accidentally get something nasty in your eye? A. Wrap your whole head in bandages and pretend you're an Egyptian mummy. B. Order another eye online from Eyes R Us. Or C. Wash your eye out with lukewarm water. What do you think, Hanny? I think C, because, say, if you've got perfume in it, you'll just wash it out. Hanny's got it. The answer is C. Wash your eye out with lukewarm water. And here's how. Right, let's get you sat down. Then we're going to get clean water and just wash his eye out with it. So what I'm going to do is going to put my thumb above his eye, my finger below, and then I can hold his eye gently open. And that means the water actually gets in and washes the stuff out of his eye. We're going to start pouring the water into the corner of his eye beside his nose. Oh, that's good. Now remember, we're showing you what to do in an emergency. Never do this on your own unless it is an emergency, and always try and find an adult. Just keep blinking. Oh. All fixed. So do any of you want to try this yourselves? Yes! Oh, I have something on my eye. Oh, my eye really stinks. Ah. OK, so we, what are we going to do, guys? Come on, we'll sit you down here. Sit down, cos you can't see. Nice one, Boo. Just confidently hold her eye open with your thumb and finger there. That's really good. You're just pouring it at the corner of her eye right there, so it all washes sideways. That's good. It's important to have a good aim. Did you get it in the eye? I think that went on the eyelid. Pull the water right on the eyeball. Oh, good job. That was better. So remember, sit the patient down, gently hold open the eye, and pour the water right onto the eyeball. And always try and find an adult. How's your eye feeling, Chris? Much better. Thank you, Zahn. Right, let's get ready to party. The doctors and nurses in A&E are ready for their next patient. I wonder who it's going to be. Yeah, if only there was some way we could find out. It'd be amazing to know, wouldn't it? I'd love to find out. Waiting in the emergency department with her mum and sister is seven-year-old Kira. What's happened to your chin, Kira? I was riding my bike from school and I was riding it too fast and I went over the handlebars and skidded on the floor. Ooh, she scraped her jaw on the floor. That must be sore. Let's find out more. Kira was heading home from school on her bike with her sister. Oh, no, Chris, she's not wearing a helmet. I know, Zand. But anyway, Kira was cycling along and it was raining cats and dogs. Really? No, it's a saying, Zand. It was just raining heavily. So Kira shouted to her sister, Hurry up and get home! Good idea. She was riding like the wind, going so fast that when she went to stop, she skidded, hurtled over the handlebars and landed on her chin. At least it wasn't her head. Ouch! In charge of checking that chin is Dr Robert Smith. So can you just uh, bend your knee for me again? It's important for Dr Smith to rule out a more serious head injury before he looks at Kira's chin. He tests her nerves by first checking her reflexes and then making sure she has feeling in all parts of her body. OK, can you feel that? Yeah. Dr Smith then goes on to check that her eyes are working properly. You see that uh, black box up on the roof there? So I want you just to stare at that for me. OK, and now I'll stare at my finger. That's a pretty intense stare. The neurological examination was uh, fine, so she didn't have any worrying symptoms of a, you know, a head injury. Great news. Time to take a look at her cut. She did have a sort of small laceration on her chin, and I'm going to ask the nurse to come in now and just make sure it has a good clean, and then we'll close it with some wound clean. 
How's our patient Kira feeling? I'm feeling a bit scared. Oh, there's nothing to be scared of. You'll be fixed up in a jiffy. The nurse gives the wound a good clean. Gross alert! Look away if you must. And with an extra pair of hands to hold the edges together, the special wound glue is applied. And just like that, Kira's all fixed up. How's it feeling? It's OK. Excellent. Anything you've learned from today? To not run fast. <clears throat> Anything else? Always wear a helmet. Spot on. Bye! Bye.